Yo, man, I've been on TV all day today, but look, let me tell you, this is one of my best segments. It gets me thinking, man, about just some of the things that make, you know, the game fun to watch. And when you talk about kicking with Cliff, the hangers, the balls that these guys are not missing when they hang. And let me just get right to it. Basically, watching all these dudes sit here, and we got to eat two as hitters. So I said, if you're going to hang it, we're going to bang it. Right? Tatis against Mad Bum. Sorry. I'm going to put this line at a show. Y'all did it for, you know, Patrick Corbin down the zone, but I'm going to do it up here as hangers. You're not going to miss that pitch. If you don't do too much, you're going to crush that baseball. Jorge Soler the other day. Ooh, slider up in the zone. That ball's not coming back. Above the belt, that's a hanger. Right? So you're going to get these balls. These balls will be destroyed. And I talk about not missing it. If you do too much, you will miss it. But JT goes, this might be a good pitch. But JT's like, I'm not letting it get down in the zone, nor to, am I letting it get to my back foot. You don't have to hit it 500 feet. Just gets out the ballpark. Xander Bogarts, up above the belt, boom, hanging. Matty, look at the pitcher. You always can tell when the pitcher turns and goes, gosh, the ball ain't coming back, right? Jock Peterson, I like this one the most because you, you thinking this ball has to go to right field. Where it goes, left center. It's a hanger. But you, so you can do anything you want to do to it if it's above the belt. This is the best one of the whole set. When you kick in with Cliff and you throw that ball, that ball is going 500 feet. And I love the way that we're going to run this back real quick because I want to show you why I believe Judge is having a great year this year. We're talking about pulling the baseball and all these things. You can pull when you recognize a pitch out of the pitcher's hand. So he understands what pitchers are trying to do, but he's never going to let you get to it if you're going to hang it right here. So you get, you get that ball out of his hand, he's going, all right, I see it up. Now all I got to do is get the bat to the baseball. I'm not trying to inside out the ball. I'm not trying to go right center. I'm going to go left center out the park. And if you let him get to this point where he's feeling this comfortable, look out because you go back to that 50-plus homer season when he was a stud. So kicking it with Cliff is more of just sitting, on the, sitting at the crib, understand what these dudes are doing, watching a whole lot of baseball. And I always say, if you want to eat, the, if you want to eat and, and have rollies on and all that stuff, you can't be missing the hangers. <laughs> So, Maddie, back to you, man. <laughs> you cannot be missing the hangers. Can't I miss like the that. hangers. By the way, Aaron Judge has pulled as many homers this year as he did all last year. He's pulling the ball to left now. He's pulling to it's left. Trouble. The, the, the biggest thing I, I am watching him, I love it because I'm 6'4", 250. I'm watching this like if you understand that you don't have to stand side of everything, you have it in your back pocket if you want it. I think that's the one thing I'm watching Judge is like he recognizing – pitches out the pitcher's hand and he's able to make the adjustment as, as the pitch is coming. So he's not trying to do too much. He's just staying within himself, but I guarantee he worked on his offseason to make sure he don't miss those pitches we just saw. How old were you in that picture by the way right there? I was salty about something, so I had to be about 29, 30. Oh, it's good living. Hey, you right. see the little stash, Maddie? We couldn't have no facial hair. So I had the little stash. <laughs>